I want to do a nice moonwalk, stompy up onto the pod. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, that was pretty darn cool. Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Today, we're going to be playing as Earthshaker 3, 2, 1, and go. We are in Wreck Alley. This is a, uh, a derby. Ah, uh, man, I can't think. Derby circuit race. So these uh, circuit races, of course, derby, derby races are where we've got half the cars going one direction, half going the other. And we are actually doing a special request from a viewer named Cyberbeast. Cyberbeast has got his own monster truck channel where he does a lot of diecast stuff. He asked for a shout out, so I'm giving him a shout out. And I'm uh, fulfilling his request to play as Earthshaker. He asked for Earthshaker and Monster Mutt. So I think next time we'll play as Monster Mutt. If you guys have a truck that you want me to play as, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to fulfill your requests too. Oh, we gotta stay out of that center lane because the AI is gonna come in and they're gonna crash right into me. Not too bad, nice little bicycle there. We are, whoa, we're way out ahead in first place. There are cars trying to take me out. No, don't go up there, no! Oh gosh, that was bad, that was bad. Okay, good, we're back on track. <laughs> Man, inadvertently going up and over the berm there. That was, oh, that was scary. But we're, we're back on track. All right, this is another spot where, oh, I knew it. Okay, that was backwards. Bob, oh, jeez. Whew, we're doing okay. It's scary. There's two spots on the track where things get a little hairy. One is right over the finish line. And then one is right, right back there where, ah, uh, no, what are you doing? Earthshaker, you're killing me. Second place, that means that somebody going the opposite direction is ahead of me here. They're gonna come up right over the hill. There he is, right there, it's backwards Bob. Oh, <laughs> we crashed right in Doomsday. Uh, so yeah, I've switched it up. We are doing three laps. We're doing a normal uh, race this time. Three laps on this circuit. We're back into first place. Good, 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 good. We just gotta stay on all four BKTs here. I kind of like doing the uh, the outdoor races. I like doing three laps. I don't like doing head to heads with three laps. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, right there is the other spot where it gets a little hairy, but that wasn't too bad. Okay, second place. Come on. We got to beat backwards, Bob. Whoa, who's that back there? Okay, we're doing okay. First place. Come on, let's jump right over the finish line. We got it. There's Bob right there. Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> nice way to start off this video. Let's move on. Let's do some head-to-heads. All right, here we go. I feel like going to Glendale, Arizona. So we're going to do Glendale 2, the head-to-head. -head. And we're going to start off by going against Dragon. Now, this is a stadium head-to-head. -head, so we're going to have 16 cars. But first, got to get through Dragon. There is Dragon. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. So Glendale is basically, you just kind of go up and around. It's a big J-hook style with a bit of a berm in the middle there. I guess it's not really J-hook style. What would you call this? I don't know. Somebody, somebody smarter than me would know. Wagner, tell me. <laughs> what would you call this type of race right there like that? Maybe it is J-Hook. I don't know. But that's okay. We have completed round one. Dragon's out of the way. Let's see who our competition is going to be in this head-to-head. -head. Uh, next up, we're going to be going against Bakugan Dragonoid. So we went from a dragon to a Dragonoid. <laughs> and then on the other side of the bracket, we've got El Toro Loco Octonator, Soldier Fortune Black Ops, and Avenger. I'm rooting for Avenger to go all the way. That's who I want to see. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Earthshaker versus Dragonoid. There's Bakugan Dragonoid. Now, I just did a toy review. I'll leave a link up in the top right corner. And we unboxed a Dragonoid in Series 33. It was a really nice looking one. It had uh, green wheel wells instead of uh, the red and black that this one has in Steel Titans 2. Uh, which, you know, that's cool. A nice little variant. I'll enjoy it. Or I do enjoy it, rather. Not I will. I do. Oh, no. I don't enjoy going all crazy sideways there. That's okay. We still won. We beat Dragonoid. <laughs> That's right. I am the best Earthshaker driver there is. <laughs> All right, moving on. Avenger does go on. He's going to be going against El Toro Loco. We are going to be going against Whiplash next. Come on, Avenger. I want to see you in the finals. Let's go. 
All right, here we go. Earthshaker versus Whiplash. Yellow versus blue. <laughs> That's kind of kind of nice. There is Whiplash. That's one of my favorite trucks too. It's, I, I've always had a soft spot for Whiplash. I just like the old school style of it, kind of cowboyish. Three, two, one, and go. Nice. Here we go up and around, down the chicane, over the berm, over the jammer, and then around the final turn here. Don't, uh, ugh, don't want to drift too much because if I drift too much, then I go sideways. But overall, that was really good. <laughs> oh, whiplash jumped right over the top of me. Oh, that's always fun. Nice. Okay, who is it going to be in the finals? Me versus... It is Avenger, sweet. This is gonna be the race of all races. All right, here we go. Yellow and green versus each other. Here we go. Come on, Earthshaker versus Avenger. Man, I always love Avenger. It's such a cool car. That's my favorite of the monster trucks. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, perfect start. Come on, up and over and around. Oh, we got this in the bag. Oh, yeah, he slid out and went off track. I watched him. He teleported back onto the track. We got this. No problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Come on, Avenger. Oh, he was heading right for me. <laughs> That's right. I am the champion. Toucan Plays is your Glendale head-to-head -head racing champion for this evening. <laughs> All right, I decided since I'm going to be playing as Earthshaker here in Glendale 2, I'm going to do a time destruction because uh, Earthshaker is a, what do they call him, demolition crew or demolition whatever, where he his only skill involves being able to run through objects without losing any speed. And the only time that that's ever really helpful is in time destruction. <laughs> so, and there you go. You can see I'm just cruising right on through all of these time destructions. There's a hot tip for you. If you ever have troubles completing a specific time destruction level, try it with a demolition crew truck because then you can uh, just drive right on through all the objects and be able to keep your speed up and keep your momentum going. Uh, I don't think it really makes a huge difference. It's my least favorite out of all of the special abilities from all of the trucks in Steel Titans 2. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I think it's about as useless as, well, no, it's, it's the most useless. <laughs> That's so sad because Earthshaker is one of my favorite trucks, but he's just, all of the demolition crew I just have useless abilities. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about it. Crushing through all of the chicken boxes. We'll crush over a crush bus. Oh, we just jumped right over the top of it. Did a little bicycle, smash some fences, and we're running out of things to smash. There's, there's not a whole lot left here. Uh, makes me a little nervous because I don't know what else we're gonna do here. Got a four times combo. We're gonna make it an 11 times combo, but that's not gonna be enough to get us anywhere here. Uh, and I've got 30 seconds left to figure this out. Um, um, I don't know. I just, maybe we're just gonna stay in second place. It might be our fate for this one. Let's come around over this way and we'll get the blimps off of the backflip container here. You ready? Line it up good. And nice. We got all eight of those. Very, very good. And but that's not enough to put us into first place. We'll come around the other side. We've got three seconds. Nope. <laughs> that, was, that was not lined up well at all. I should have taken the extra time to line it up a little bit better. So we did end up getting in the second place, not first place. I blame the map. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff to smash there. Oh, rude. All right, here we go. We're going to wrap up at, uh, not Anaheim. Where is this place? Glendale, Arizona. We're going to wrap up our, uh, our tour to Glendale by doing a nice freestyle. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Come on. Let's get some cool tricks in here. Big air. No sky wheelie. Did, uh, come on. Come on. There's the stoppy. Ah, uh, and then when I was going to go back into a moonwalk, it did not happen. Come on, let's come over here. We'll hit the car stack here. Oh, can we get a backflip out of that? We sure can. Into a moonwalk. 
Look at that. That was just spectacular. We're still crawling backwards, man. Dude, that was sweet. Oh, can we get a front flip off of it? A reverse backflip. We got a barrel roll. Ten times combo. That, that was a really sweet combo, actually. Oh, man. Got a bicycle, too. Here we go. Can we get another backflip? We can. <laughs> wow. Man, we are just hitting it on all, all four tires tonight, man. Stoppy, bicycle, three times combo. Let's get ourselves a beacon. No big air, no sky wheelie. Uh, that's right. Glendale has kind of small jammers here. Uh, but, hey, you know what? There's a, there's a wheelie and a beacon. That 10 times combo was enough to put us into first place. I'm pretty sure. Come on, back it up. Back it up. There we go. We got it. Here we go. Let's come around over this way. We'll get a nice big air off of this jammer. Nice sky wheelie, big air. Oh, into a stoppy again. Oh, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Let's come over here. We'll hit the tire stack right here. I guess I guess this is an eight pack, right? Yeah, there's eight tires. No, did not get a backflip. Um, got, they said a stoppy. I don't, I don't think there was a stoppy in there. But hey, you know what? If they're going to call it a stoppy, I'll call it a stoppy. Big air over the little step up. Nice. No, no, uh, <laughs> I was hoping for a, a big air sky wheelie, but no sky wheelie on that one. They, I was doing a little bit of a moonwalk, but they didn't count. I guess I wasn't vertical enough for it, the judges to count that one. Nice, another backflip off the backflip container. Ended it in a wheelie. We'll bring it on back. Okay, so we are in overtime. Let's see if we can just end it in a nice little donut cyclone combo. Perfect way to finish things off here in Glendale, Arizona. Nice freestyle. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, for our next city, we're going to go to Portland, or, or, uh, Portland, Oregon. Port I was going to say Port Portland, Oklahoma. No, not Portland, Oklahoma. Portland, Oregon. You know, Oregon, Oklahoma, same thing, right? <laughs> Sorry, don't, don't at me. <laughs> All right, our first competitor is going to be Ice Cream Man, you know, because that's what Oregon is actually known for, is ice cream. That's that Tillamook ice cream up there in Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma, I did it again. I'm so sorry, all you Oregonians. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> Man, I'm just going to uh, close my mouth and stop talking about Oregon and uh, Oklahoma at this point. We're just going to talk about Earthshaker going round and round. Don't hit the... No, oh, the crush car is good. Good, we beat Ice Cream Man. Only one lap. I like only doing one lap in head-to-heads because, uh, you know, I just, that's just me. I guess I just like doing only one lap. Okay, since Portland is an arena event, it's a lot shorter and there are less cars, or I'm sorry, less competitors. It's only an eight bracket instead of a 16 bracket. So uh, let's see, next up is gonna be Jurassic Attack. I'm hoping again, it is gonna be Avenger. It might be Black Ops though, but I'm, I'm hoping for Avenger. Let's see. Now, all right, here we go against Jurassic Attack. Ironically, the, uh, the monster truck that's gonna run on hydrogen fuel cells instead of dinosaur juice. <laughs> I don't know when they're going to start that. I don't I don't think it's going to be next year, but it looks pretty darn cool if uh, they can actually run the monster truck on uh, hydrogen fuel cells. That would be pretty neat. I don't know if it's fuel cells or if it's just hydrogen in general. But either way, it's going to be pretty cool. I kind of want to see it in action, though, before I make any judgments on it. Oh, man. I, I doubt that there will ever be a monster truck that's an electric monster truck. Those batteries are just too darn heavy. And monster trucks are heavy enough as it is. <laughs> but Jurassic Attack is out of the way. Let's see how well Avenger fared against Black Ops. He beat him. Nice. It's going to be me versus Avenger again in the finals. Let's go. All right. Here we go. There is Avenger with his skull. I like Avenger so much. You guys know that, though. All right. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. And let's go. Perfect start. Don't hit the crush cars because they send me flying off into the crowd and I don't want to be a crowd killer. <laughs> no. Oh, I slowed down way too much, but I think I'll be OK. I think I'll be OK. Ooh, that was closer than what I hoped for, though, for sure. There's my panels. They teleported me back in the time to see my panels flying off. That's kind of funny, actually. I am the best Earthshaker driver there is. I have defeated Avenger and became the Portland, Oregon, not Oklahoma, head to head champion for this evening. <laughs> All right, let's get ready for some two wheel skills with Earthshaker here. 
Earthshaker with uh, nothing in the back of his truck. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Let's hit this log stack right off the bat. And we'll get a nice bigger sky wheelie. A little, little crooked. And the landing wasn't great. But, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. Okay, okay. We popped it up. We popped it up. I was kind of hoping for a bit of a stoppy. There's the stoppy. Right back up onto the pod. We got it. We got it. We got the stoppy in the moonwalk. And we're going to do it again. Now, technically, I think in real life, that would have counted as two attempts. But, uh, you know, since this is the game, they did not count it as two attempts. That's okay. Okay, so we're in first place. Let's see, what do we want to do? I was thinking about going for a sky wheelie again, but that's kind of boring. I do that all the time. I want to do a nice moonwalk stompy up onto the pod. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, that was pretty darn cool. Okay, now we can go for that big air sky wheelie combo. Whoa, and an endo. Ha! Nice way to end it. Of course, they don't call those endos endos. I wish they did, but they don't. I think later this week, I'm going to play some uh, Monster Truck Championship where I actually get points for doing endos. <laughs> there we go. There's Earthshaker. We're going to wiggle those tires for good luck. Three, two, one, and go. Doing nice. Big air. A sky wheelie off the log stack. Very cool. Very cool. Into a nice stoppy. Let's bring it on back into a moonwalk. Oh yeah, there we go. Can we get, can we get a front flip, a reverse flip? Wow, wow! <laughs> Too bad we ended it on my roof. That would have been fantastic if I didn't. Oh man, okay, come on, let's come over here. We'll get another beacon. Big air sky wheelie, jump right across the pod. Let's come around over here. We'll collect the beacons. We'll just kind of go around collecting beacons for just a moment. And then we'll come over to this backflip container back here. We'll get a nice big backflip. And then we'll come back into a moonwalk off of it. Whoa, geez. The gas was pumping there. <laughs> High octane adventure. <laughs> All right, let's come around over here. We'll collect this beacon. And then we'll come up onto the pod from over this direction. Very cool, big air sky wheelie. And we'll stop it right there. Oh yeah, we'll do a nice little crawl back up. Oh no, I was gonna go up onto the pod, but the uh, the ramp got me. Overall, this has been a great uh, freestyle run though. I think this is the very last beacon. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I had to jinx it, didn't I? I was talking about what a great job I was doing in my on uh, my freestyle run and uh, the game says, oh, yeah, I'll take that. That's what you get for being cocky. Ah, there we go. Nice little backflip across the pod. We'll get a backflip off the backflip container to end things off. We have 13 seconds left. Let's come around over here. We'll, we'll finish it off with a nice uh, cyclone donut combo. Whoa, don't fall over, though. Whoa, 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 we'll get... <laughs> we went, went over onto the sidewalls there, but of course the combo had already finished at that point. Oh, well, very exciting freestyle run. I enjoyed that a lot. Of course, you guys know that I always like ending my episodes with an outdoor race. So we're going to end it here in um, in the, uh, not, what is this, not Wastelands. What is this place? I forget. Anyway, it's guard duty, and this is a waypoint race. We go from one end of the map to the other. Perfect start. Oh, jeez. Bakugan Dragonoid with his overpowered defender ability, which sends me flying everywhere. But we have a boost that we used right out the gate. There's another boost. And we'll come around the corner. Don't hit the rocks. Don't hit the rocks. Oh, man. Okay, good. We got out ahead of everybody else. This isn't the wasteland. What is this place? I forget what the name of it is. I can't believe that. I can't believe I forgot the name of this place. Somebody in the comments will let me know, I'm sure. Let's go around to the left side today. I'm just feeling the left. I always go to the right, but, uh, you know, I'm going to go to the left this time. I'm just feeling it. I think most people go to the right. Yeah, there's a whole mess of folks over there trailing it off with Megalodon. All right. Coming back around. We've got a pretty good lead, but uh, I've definitely seen things go south real fast on this map. All right. Oh, there's that rock. I almost hit that rock. That rock is such a pain. 
coming to coming around this way. I'm gonna hit this booster because I can, but then we have to slow way down because this turn is a sharp turn. Ah, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, I don't like hitting that booster over there to the right because it always sends you in wacky directions and it, it, I think it's really just kind of bait. It's, it's meant to throw you off is what it's meant to do. <laughs> All right, coming to the jump, the big jump here. Got to hit this straight, otherwise you go flying. Oh, I almost went flying anyway. Woo! <laughs> nice, okay. We still have boost. I am so far out ahead of everybody. I think this is the best run that I've had on this particular waypoint race. Let's keep, let's keep it going. Oh, don't get too cocky here, Toucan. You know what happens when you get cocky? Up and over that last waypoint. Not last, that's not the final one. There's one more, there's two more over here. No, no, no. There we go, got it. Actually, there's more than two more. There's a bunch more over here. Because I have to drive up and into the center part again. But uh, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. Oh, Keep the momentum going, keep the momentum going. All right, home stretch, home stretch. Nice little boost over this way into the center area of the garage. And one more waypoint to go and we are home free. Man, look at the map. We are so far ahead of everybody else. Huh. Seriously, best run of guard duty I think I have ever done. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I, I don't keep track of my scores, my time, but uh, two minutes, 43 seconds. I'd like to see anybody. Okay, Jay Pace, Jay Pace beat me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> two minutes, 43 seconds on guard duty. Hard. Let me see you do better, man. <laughs> All right, I think that is gonna do it for this episode though. Uh, one quick thing though, before I head out, I did get a question from somebody who is asking whether or not there's a quick travel in this game, if you could travel from one area of the over map to the other. And unfortunately there is not, there's not even a way to see the map. Like if you come here to quick single player and quick play and free ride down here at the bottom, you can go to free ride in all the different areas uh, uh, like the the um, stadiums and the arenas and then the very last option is um, the world but you can't choose where in the world you drive it just takes you back to the front here the very beginning the uh, Camp Crushmore uh, and it's it's kind of annoying like that I, I don't know why it does that and then the only way to really travel around is to just go from one section to the, of the map to the other. This, you know, of course right here is leading over to the Bark Park. Uh, there is a way to go from Camp Crushmore over to uh, the, the Haunted Forest, which is up here. Um, by the buses, by the jump, the bus jump. Um, what, what is that? That's uh, Higher Education's uh, Hidden World Collectible right there. But uh, there's no way that I know of to quick travel between the zones. You just have to drive and, and you don't even really get to see the map either. You get to see map of each different individual zone while you're in there, but uh, you can't see the overall map of all the different zones put together. So I, I don't know, that's just the way that the game works. It's kind of quirky like that. I don't like it, but uh, that is that is how it works. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you apparently in the haunted forest <laughs> on the flip side later. Oh, crunch crash. Oh. <laughs>